Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and in the last episode we got our purple science working really well. Now um, it may seem a little silly to expand yellow science when we only have three machines working but I do want to get the ratios organized and then we can focus on getting all of the rest of the things. So in the last episode I talked a little bit about how I used um, the calculations a little bit differently than I wanted to within the um, the calculator program so let's go back to that and it is over here what we did is i since i was going to use blue machines i changed the settings to the blue machines which are faster and so it let us use less but in the beginning we tuned our science production to reds and greens and we only had gray machines at the time so um i wanted to decide i decided to expand to match that uh, output so for these things, we're just going to expand to these numbers here. I probably won't show this screen again, so just keep note of that or just go to the kirkmcdonald.github.io calculator. You don't need the rest after the slash. You can just go to there and adjust your settings um, as you need them. All right, let me just close this. There we go. We need 14 of these, and I think that's how many we have over here. Yes, 14 machines. Whoopsies. Q is what I want to do. And we'll copy these guys. We need four more. So just copy these. And we're just going to expand the entire thing here. So engine wise, we need, let's see, seven machines. So that's one, two, three, four, five. All right, we need two more of those. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut stuff. Um, most specifically, this, that's going to be one cut. Um, and then we're going to cut this one as well. Cut this as another piece. And then we'll just expand this. All right, so we had one, we have one, two, three, four and we need seven so let's let the robots just get stuff out of here and then we'll copy this well, i guess we could just copy three um so so we can have seven all right let me just delete this last piece there um all right let's go back to our pasty thing imagingies there's our three for that. Okay. Shove those on. Let the robots clean all of this up because it is looking very messy and very hard to look at and read. Uh, I want to also expand the roboports down this way so that we can have our delivery zone nearby when we walk into this area. This is so funny seeing these railroad tracks on, on a belt so funky oh no we're short on these things oh but we are getting the furnace we're getting a lot of purple science maybe we should switch tech to a purple science thing go to ins inserter capacity um automation where we can get yellow machines that is so nice effect transmission which is also great logistics let's get blue belts that's what we want so let's take off artillery and we'll get back to that later once we can have a little bit of yellow science built up right now you see how much purple science we've had building up it is going very very smoothly all right these guys are waiting for the rest of the bots to take this stuff down i guess maybe we have a bunch of bots are we having a lot from here that we're just having a migration from down here no they seem okay not sure where all these bots are coming from but they're not doing things very quickly. Would let, like to get further bot speed research done. All right, come on guys, hurry, do stuff. I don't even know <laughs> what to do here because uh, there's so many different shadows on the ground and stuff. It's like, I don't even know which ones to pick up or not. It's kind of scary. So come on bots, do your job, please proceed. I guess I can delete this because this stuff just needs to flow like this. This is fine. We don't need to do that. We can uh, make the squirrely do later. OK, 
Okay. Let's do all the stuffs. Is this connected? No, it is not. It's a little bit deceptive there. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Now, let's go back through our paste thingy. That's right, we needed seven. Yes, seven. Okay. And electric engines. Also, we need seven. So this is the last one here. And I want to go over the top of this and just kind of get this thing going where I want it to go. Paste. pasty do. There we go. And then these things in the bottom are odd. Okay, paste. Proceed. There we go. Um, and then we get rid of those things. And of these, a thing is a fine. Turn that around. Wait, are there things going on? No, there's nothing going on. How did we do over here? Okay, so we are now killing these things far away from the wall, which is much better. I want to look on this side and see if there are anything... Nope, there's nothing going on there, which is great. Great news. Wow, look at the amount of biters coming in. That's just, wow. Ooh, we saw, we're seeing like a fade here of some of the bodies. That's really cool. Is that biter blood? Yeah, it is. It's a purple, like Klingons, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, there's some here, which we are able to kill, which is very good. Quite happy about that. Um, but we can get rid of some of these turrets. Just take them out and replace them with lasers. And we'll take these instead along here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, geez, this is just completely in the wrong place. Here, here, again in the wrong place. It's kind of, um, that's a kind of annoying thing, I guess, with not having blueprints from the beginning and, well, I guess you do have blueprints from the beginning, but it's just, I guess, uh, different to put down or it's not really used because you have to place everything manually until you get bots. Okay. I think the rest is all right for now. I like how I'm like completely ignoring this wall. It's fine. Uh-huh. But the good thing is we did get our um, these thingies placed down, which I'm very happy about. Put that one there. And so we can get further and further vision on this area. I want to place this out here as well. Good. So finally we can get that going. But at least they're repairing the walls. That's the important part. Ah, we are back and we have stuff going on. Yay! Now then, same thing with this. We need to have seven of them. Let's just take this this way. I think I'm going to get rid of this half a piece. Just copy this bit. So that is four, uh, six, and then seven. I guess we can just take off the half bit here. Fine. And then hopefully I still have my... Uh, my thing for the uh, the, f the frames. Here are the frames. Okay, great. Now, did we? There's our th our switch maru. Yep, looking good. Batteries plus steel plates. Excellent. And then we will get these going here. There we are. Fits nicely there. Okay, very nice. I find this an interesting thing, this whole um, splitter going nowhere, but just filtering on one tile. I think that's kind of funky. Now these guys, we need 14 of them, 13.4. So we're going to put down 14. It looks like we have a half array here. So we'll just take this off for now and then do two by two for a bit um here we go power pole in the middle is how i usually like to do it now then we have currently two four six 
eight. So we'll have 10, 12, and 14. So this should very much improve our production if we have enough materials to provide to it. Hopefully that is a thing, but we'll do the best we can. All right, logistics are finished, hooray. We can now make blue belts, hooray. Um, speed module three, insert a capacity bonus, uh, lab research speed, we probably don't need that. We have tons of labs at the moment. Artillery is somewhat done. We could get a ah, flying robot speed, 500 of each of those. I don't, don't really think we should do this because it costs both yellow and purple signs. We're saving up the yellow, remember? Productivity module three, let's start that one. And then I think we can have the speed module three right behind, or no, not, not efficiency, speed, speed, there we go. Ooh, worker robot cargo size. Yes, we'll take that as well. We'll order this one, that's fine. All right, grid. Good, 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 good. Okay, so now the yellow science has been expanded. Now we just need desperately to get more green chips in here so that we can make blue, uh, blue chips work. But I think we can also set up our new power armor because we have tons of stuff. All right, let's take everything out. And what we're going to do is just replace the armor. There we go more slots hooray and we're gonna get in our portable fusion reactors i usually like to have them on this side and then we'll have our two robo ports that sounds fine uh batteries yes personal well exoskeletons definitely here we might want to get another exoskeleton but then of course we have huh, lots of personal laser defense which is great oh pld's are fantastic so we do have a little bit of run speed. I don't know what our laser damage is. Let me just look and see. Laser, shooty, shooty. Energy weapons damage five. That's what I need, actually. I think I'm going to do this. Can I start, put this one first, like in the beginning and slide these around? No, okay, no, apparently not. Um, <laughs> We'll just do it that way. It's fine. Uh, shooting speed is good. Yes. Uh, does that affect laser turret? I don't think that affects our personal combat robot laser damage and co combat robot beam di damage. Oh, does that not affect our personal laser defense? Personal laser defense. They're definitely called personal laser defense. They're not called laser turrets. That kind of makes me sad, really sad, like very sad. Um, if we look at these things, yeah, it says 40 plus 44 laser. These are 20 plus 22 laser. So they are stronger than regular lasers, but uh, at the same time, yeah. Hmm. Not ideal. No, the sadness is real. Here, oh, we didn't even do this yet, did we? Um, This one is going okay for now. I kind of want to test this out. I'm a little scared, but I kind of want to test it out too. We should, we should test it out. Or we could always just build a artillery train. That could be fun too. All right. Let's get our car out. Uh, it's on here. Do I have any fuel? Aha, I have fuel, hooray. Nice. Think, <laughs> I think I, I drove the car last when we didn't have stuff here. Okay, get out, mine the car, come back. And get the car again, where is the car? Because the reality is I want to go up there and I want to kill stuff. All right, let's go see. Let's go see what we can do here. No idea what's up here, except for there's there's copper. Can I shoot those things? Yeah, I can. Oh, drive by, man. That's bad. Totally bad to the bone here. It looks like something maybe. 
Uh, it could be a remnant, I'm guessing. Yep, probably just an artifact on the radar. Okay, ah, hello, biters. I will kill you. Thank you. I do have a few grenades. This is actually fairly good. Okay. Lasers. Oh, hello. Wow. I think the car might be too fast for the worms. Oh, this is new form of KOS fun. We can do this. Oh, this is great. All right. Let's go see. I, was that the nest, though, that we were hitting, I wonder? I just want to see where the biters are. Or, wait, let's look at the map. Is our pollution getting up here? Oh, yes, it is. Hello, pollution. Greetings. We are now making a ton of pollution. Let's go explore this area a bit. But it does look like we can probably create a choke point there and not worry about biters like ever. Whoa, hi, biters. Okay. Wow, there is stuff going on here. <gasps> no, rock! Oh boy, there's a rock there. <laughs> ah, this is great. No! Okay, we can we can we can conquer this. It's fine. As long as I don't open my inventory window. Oh my goodness. Oh we have we have killed stuff though. The things have died. Okay, let's not stand on the poison. It's fine. It's fine. Holy fuzzy cats. This is a big base here. Oh my god, just a whack with that laser. And it's like dead. How many how many thingy majingies do we have? Personal laser defense. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can take these off and add more. Aha. I think that's a good idea. I'll keep the one exoskeleton legs just in case I want to. Um yeah, this is great. Probably don't need more than one roboport on. So that could be amended there in favor of batteries. Okay, let's get out and delete the... Take this off, add more batteries. Okay, get behind that. Hey, battery dues, sorry. Okay, we have found the OP treatment of biters now. <laughs> this is great. Woohoo! All right, seeking out more enemies to kill. I was actually pressing E to look at the contents of the car because I don't know how much fuel we have. But I think solid fuel lasts a fair amount of time. And if anything, we can always chop some trees or the bits of coal over here as well. Okay, let's see what we can do over here. Hey, biter dudes. Sorry. Oh no. Okay. Careful. Careful. Okay. Man, I bet if you were to go around on a tank, this would be even better. Gotta zoom in a little bit. There we go. Wow, this is amazing. Holy fuzzy cats. Personal laser defenses are awesome. Okay. See here, I thought we were just going to scout things out. Go back to the armor, reconfigure. It's fine. We'll get to it. But man, oh man. Oh, oh, okay. Kind of try to change up the speed a little bit. Like not do constant uh, forward. Whoopsies. I need to let my uh, bots heal my car. Let's just let them repair stuff. The bots like, KOS, you're driving in circles. We're trying to get you, but we can't. Oh, here we go. Uranium ore, 120 million. That's pretty nice. This is a nice choke point, though. This is so weird. Look at all these clusters right here and nothing in that area. However, we do have this one down here, 96 million. That is more than enough for nuclear power. So I think I'm going to head back down to... Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, bots. It's hard to see. It's dark, bots. Forgive me. I, I, I wish this light would be brighter, though. This is a little bit like, no, please, game. Don't, don't, don't make me suffer under the darkness. Oh, hello. There's a, there's a biter nest up here. Oh, oh, God. Trees. 
<laughs> I'm sure everybody's watching those trees like, no, nope, Chaos is definitely gonna hit that tree, and then she doesn't. Woohoo! Try to save the trees. Save the trees, kill the biters, it's fine. Oh yes. See, even in the dark, we can conquer the biters. It is not not an issue. Wow, there's a bunch up here as well. I'm gonna clear out a few of these places. Oh, there's the uranium. Oh man, I never will forget the very first time I saw uranium in the dark. It just glows like crazy beautiful. And it like pulsates. Look at this, it's great. See, I'm not even bothered with, by the biters. I'm just like looking at the pulsating. Oh. I remember that when it came out. It was just so, so cool. Anyway, I, I, I feel very nostalgic about that. Because I did like a, a little preview video of it and it was like, oh, that's so nice. So yeah. Okay. Keep on fighting biters. This is fun. This is actually new biter technology. This is great. Whoa, hello. There are things stuff over here. Okay, we'll just go in a little bit of a nice round circle. Kill the things that want to kill me. Yay, especially those worms. Worms are nasty, man. I don't like worms. No, we might be dying. We might be dying slightly. Let's see if I can pause here. The bots are healing me, even though I'm being killed by lots of poisony stuff. Um, I'm gonna just sort of drive slowly this way. Oh, no, no, no. Careful, careful. Whoa. So car died. That was not ideal. But we can still kill stuff. Do I have enough stuff to make another car, I wonder? Wow, the zap is real, man. Look at that. Yeah, we can make another car. <laughs> we don't have any fuel, but we can make a car. Oh, the death. The death toll. Yes. Can I make a... I'm tempted to... Do I have any fuel? Probably not. No, I have no fuel. But I can make a burner miner. Do I have any um, trees? Ah! Ah, we have other solutions. We can get the bots to gather some wood for me. Thank you, bots. But that's not a lot of wood. It's only 16 wood. We could build a burner miner. Oh, we can't even build a burner miner. No, we have no stone. Ah, but we have stone here. Is it that far to walk? Kinda. Yeah, it is kinda far. I'm just gonna, like, mine some stone here. I don't know how much I'll need to get back. I almost feel like I should put out a <laughs> burner miner, like two burner miners. Now, see, now this is a legit reason to carry burner miners with you in the world. All right, auto trash, let's take this off and the wood off. And I'm going to just put our car down since we now have a car. Yay. Coal, and then we'll take wood for good luck. Well, ish. I'm really surprised I haven't picked up any stone, considering how much the biters love to destroy stone. But I'm not sure if that is, is... Have we seen that? I don't even remember if we've seen biters destroying lots of stone stuff like they used to all the time. Wow. Okay, there's a big stone there. But I don't think they destroy stuff that, like they used to. I, I'm not seeing like all these like mini patches of stone unless we've been very skillful at avoiding them. Um, that could be too. You never can tell. All right, let's go out, zoom out a bit, and see where we're going. Hopefully, pick up some uh, some fuel at the base. That's where I'm going to next. Get some solid fuel into our inventory. Maybe a couple of stacks instead of just one. Uh, and then just put like a half stack in the car at a time, just in case we might get killed. I should have just gotten out and picked up the car, but I was actually quite terrified that I would get killed. But the zappery do just really zaps things out of existence quite quickly. All right, let me get out of the car. How much fuel did we use in this? Not much. Wow. Almost none. Probably the wood would have done it. Let's go and pick up all this uh, fuel. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't you dare. Stop chasing me. No, 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 Stop it. All right, fine, I'll give you those stacks, it's fine. Okay, you can take all those, thank you. Fine, fine, good. And we'll go this way. Be 
because I do want to kill those biter nests off by the um the the oil area. Wow. Holy fuzzy cast, this is not good over here. No, 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 no. Dudes, this is so bad. The bad is real. Oopsies. Poisony stuff. No. Ah, and we have no bullets anymore. I forgot about that part. That's going to make it really hard to defend stuff without bullets, so... I think we need to fix that soonish. Uh, get another power pole there. Repair wall. Go get car. Do we, we have repair packs. Do I not have any drones? I do have some. Oh, no, no, no. This is not what I want. No, no, sorry. I want to get out of that area. And then I want to stop. There we go. I think what happened is one of the base bots might have gotten allocated to repairing my uh, my little craft that I'm running around in. Do we have... Yeah, this whole area is... Ooh. How did our... How did we get all this explored? I'm kind of like, hmm... Did radars get improved or something? I don't think so. It's interesting though. Oh, that's right. We added another radar. I forgot about that. Nice. Wow, they scream. Did you hear that? Whoa. Ooh. These sounds. <laughs> These sounds are pretty awful. It's like, no. Whoa! Alright. Wow, Armageddon here. Pretty bad. Let's just take him a little bit of time here. Get another car. Get another car. Where are the cars? Hello, cars. Thank you. Mike could build a tank instead, though. Because the tank is going to have more hit points. I'm going to do the zigzag thing. It's a little bit hard to zigzag with the car, though, I have to admit. Alright, tank is out. Let's try the tank this time. Let's see how that fares. All right, here, have some fuel. And I don't really care how much fuel we use, to be honest. Okay, so this drives a little bit more slowly. We can zigzag a little bit better, probably, because of the slower speed. Let's try this. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, bot, biters, biters, nope, nope. Hey. Try to trying to zigzag a little bit here. Nice, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's wait for the bot. Wow, the stopping speed on the tank is much harder or much uh, longer. Well, stopping speed is slower. The net effect is it takes longer to s to stop the tank. <laughs> Come on, brain, find the right words, will you? All right. Let's go to this next base here. There we go. Biter Armageddon. Oh, there we go. Okay, it seems to survive maybe better. Wow, it takes forever to stop this tank. Whoa. Okay. Go this way. Let's see what we can do about this base. This has a ton of worms in this base. Let's just be really careful. I'm trying to zigzag a little bit. I'm stopped on a rock. Whoa. Another rock. Oh, geez. All the rocks. Let's go back. Let's go out of range so that my bots can repair me. Or repair the tank, I should say. <clears throat> Just a Freudian slip there. They do actually repair me because I am a robot. It's fine. Don't worry. Being a robot is cool. We like being a robot. It's fine. Map mode. Yep. Gotta go get that one bottom side there. But it should be okay. Let's go and just zigzag a bit. Whoa, we got two bases. Very nice, but they are no match for me. No way. Wow. 
wow, the yelling of all of these uh, creatures and stuff is just insane. I am keeping very close look at my batteries down there in the right. Ooh, we're getting uh, slowed down by this gunk. Let's quickly stop here. Slowly stop here. <laughs> While the bots repair. But it's interesting that that stuff actually slows you down. Uh, but the biter nest, we are we're taken care of most efficiently here. So the tank, while it's slower, does have much better armor, I think, overall. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's just kill the rest of these guys. Boom, and they're dead. I don't think there's anything left here either. Nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's go and explore a little bit to the right and go down. Oh, sorry, bot. Come on, bot. You can catch up. It's fine. So this has got 2,000 hit points. If I put down a car... Oh, do I have a car? Yeah, here's the car. Car has 450 hit points. <laughs> so yeah, tank is better survivability, and I think it goes fast enough. I don't think it needs to be faster. The dodging isn't as crisp in the tank, but uh, you can still dodge a little bit. But just watch for stacks of that poison stuff, because that does actually seem to slow you down. Quite interesting, quite fascinating. We'll go down and get this base uh, removed from our map. Is this, is this another choke point out here? Kind of looks like it might be. Oopsies. Sorry, rock. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit the rock. Really didn't. Whoa, big base. Okay, big base coming on here. Oh, thank you, autosave. That was very nice of you. That was extremely handy of you, autosave. Wow, the lasers are just going everywhere, and we are killing stuff. We don't even have the energy weapons damage thing any, uh, yet. I wonder if that's going to do anything different. I really wonder if that's going to affect these. I don't think it's going to affect the personal lasers because it doesn't say it does. Um, unless that's just somehow not in the game yet. An oversight. But I kind of think that it might not be in there because they are kind of OP already. There is a spitter here which apparently outranges us with the lasers. Let's get repaired a bit. Thank you, bots. That's very kind of you. Keep on using. We have lots and lots of uh, repair packs. Use them to your heart's content. All right, going back here for another pass. Whoa, nice. It's great fun. This is great fun. This is actually quite fun. Turret creep is not fun. This is actually fun. Oh, some uh, cliffs. These are not ideal. I want to go and go and see the map and see how far this goes. But this is actually a nice choke point right there if there's nothing funky. There shouldn't be because there's water right there. So we have some nice copper here. Oh, this is great. This is very nice. Okay. Energy weapon damage is done. Um, what did we need again? Oh yes, the artillery. <laughs> Should we even bother with the artillery? Because this is just so much fun. <laughs> I feel like once we get the artillery, then we can start the game properly. Then we can really build a mega base. Like, no more biters will ever bother us. We could go on fun sort of shooting sprees, I guess, and, uh, and just go out into the wilderness and kill them if we desire to do so. That kind of thing, you know, sort of sport hunting. around here trying to get that poison uh, stackable stuff off of us I don't know if it's stacks of stuff but it does kind of linger on our uh, on our on our tank there kind of this green mist okay I think that's it wow we have uncovered a huge area here um, and I think it's good to probably let's reinforce this last wall over here oh sorry sorry about didn't mean to uh, interrupt you there or should we even bother reinforcing the wall? I feel like we should just make a new wall here and a choke point up here, perhaps. 
um, to protect against the stuffs. We have lots, wow, tons and tons of ore here. We're going to be able to build a really nice train network to get it back to the base. Um, in fact, we might even want to go and conquer more land like down here so that we can have outposts spread out so that there's plenty of room to expand for stuff. Here, it looks like we still do have some ammo. So that will take care of things if there's anything else. Nothing else should come because we actually have literally killed off everything in the pollution zone uh, in this area. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a base over there. <laughs> But I think what I want to do is maybe have a wall here and start train, um, well, we don't need a train actually, since it's going to be lasers. So we can have lasers along here, or maybe just get this copper patch in there. Um, and then we'll need to explore up here and, and start basically enclosing things with a proper defense system. But for now, I have had a lot of fun. I hope you have too. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.